Hey guys, it's Rec, and welcome to Let's Play Portal. This is my first map that I've ever made, and I uh, figured I'd go ahead and do a sort of preview walkthrough for it in case you have trouble with it when it gets published. Um, killing two birds in one stone, because I'm testing one final thing about it before I actually get done with it. But anyway, I've been working on this thing pretty much all day, and I'm pretty proud of how it got laid out. Uh, the only thing about it is... <laughs> I don't know if you know. I'm a little. I'm not shell. I'm a little guy. A little stick figure. Anyway, sorry. Off topic. Um, the only thing about this is there is a lot of chief death mechanics in it, but I kind of like that. It's really uh, based on how fast your reflexes are to be able to react to some things. First of all, you want to jump here, um, or else you'll get shot a lot by those turrets. Uh, let's go ahead and put a portal up there, portal through here, and pop out into what I like to call the laser room of this puzzle map thing. And in the laser room we have a lot of these little crappers. And we are going to dispatch them very, very easily because they don't have any sort of special protection. They're just here to get in your way. Maybe be a little bit of just some sort of distraction if you're trying to figure out the puzzle. So you want to just get these things out of the way first. And then after taking care of all of those, we can go ahead and use this laser to deal with the stuff over there. Because down in these little side bins, we have crates. Good crates. Redirect, uh, I don't even, oh, reflection crates, that's what they're called. derp a derp a derp -a do but we can use these to destroy all these troublesome nuisance turrets over here that nearly killed us when we fell down. Sweet revenge. Please die. I'm right out of their range. <laughs> Catch on fire. <laughs> Fantastic. So with that done, we have one crate. And we can get another one from this side over here really fast. But, one crate, two crate is not enough to solve this puzzle. Try as you might. Try all day. You cannot do this puzzle with only two crates. So, what do we do? Well, there are three holes in the ceiling. Two of these drop crates. The other one is actually a path into another complete part of the level. Exciting. But up here, in your jubilation, you might not notice that one little laser beam of a turret. Case in point, by the way. I do like to put turrets in my levels. I don't think enough people use turrets. They're fun to kill and knock over. I love turrets. Just a uh, <laughs> word of warning. Anyway, let's continue. So, we need both of our cubes up here in this room. Because once we take this cube and stick it on this cube button, raises the floor up extends the ceiling and also I think opens this door right here. Now you can use these two portals to shimmy around. Let me see if I can do it really quick. Uh, 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 eh, not being very successful with this for some reason tonight. Come on, there we go. And get into a secret way into this room, but that doesn't really amount to anything and I'll explain that a little bit later. Um, I've taken a lot of time out to make sure this puzzle is not uh, gimmick proof, or to make sure that there's not alternative ways to do things that I would not like. Ways to gimp the puzzle, that's the word I'm looking for. But anyway, we're going to get up here and we're going to put this button right on top of that, or Q on top of that, excuse me, which brings down some nice orange gel for us. What we can do with the orange gel is we're going to fire a portal down through here. And we're going to take that orange gel into the next room. Actually, I forgot something. We need to bring this with us, actually, because there's a surprise waiting for us in the observation deck. Another turret! Die! Oh, yeah. With that done, we can put this back, because we don't need it anymore. Or at least for the time being. So now we enter this room, and this is what I like to call the maze room. 
the maze room is a little tricky. Basically what you have to do is spend a little bit of time setting up your orange gel all over this room from start to finish. And we are going to take time to do that just now. Now, I do have some concerns about this part of the puzzle. First of all, I'm not sure if a lot of people will actually enjoy spreading the gel by themselves. This actually does take a little bit of time to completely clean the room with gel, and based on the feedback, I might pre-place some of this gel just to make things a little bit speedier. But, um, my idea for manually placing all the gel was for the player to uh, look at the maze, make a route, and sort of pencil it out using the gel so they basically follow the gel through the maze like a giant uh, bean trail, if you will. But that didn't really pan out the way I wanted it to because the perspective on the maze I wanted, I couldn't really get because I had to put the portals on the ceiling um, in order to get within the walls as well as a few other things like uh, putting portals on the ground allows you to exploit things too much so I had to go r safe over uh, what do you call it safe over being time sensitive I guess is the best way to explain it but anyway we're gonna keep spreading this gel we're halfway done now at least. You don't need to spread it over every square inch of this maze, like I said, you just need to spread it over the path you're intending on taking through the maze. Okay, looks like we're about done. I had a friend beta testing this map for me <laughs> that when he found out there was gel he spread it everywhere and that ended up, I need to t do a quick word on that as well. Uh, why there's cleaning gel downstairs because <laughs> basically what he did was he sprayed this gel everywhere and it made it impossible to do the laser challenge just because of like how thick the gel was and it just made everything slippery and terrible but it was kind of funny all right I think I need to just put it back in that one little spot and I am Bob Rossing this like a boss there we go all right and I'm done. Okay, I think that's all the gel we need. Might be wrong, but ah! Nice spray right to the face. Okay, as we can see, I got a little bit messy with the gel down here, but we're gonna come in here, and I think we should be good to go for the puzzle. Now, what's gonna happen is we're gonna press this button, and a cube is gonna fall out of there, and it's the last cube we need for the puzzle downstairs. So, hit the button. Speed gel through the maze. And then you need to slow down right about here. Ah, oh, crud. Barely. Just missed it. Slowing down there is rather important, because if you don't slow down there, you stand a chance of going straight into the water and having to do the gel part all over again. And... Is if you study the maze, you will notice that that is a very likely possibility. But it is far better to just redo the button press and the run through the maze than have to reset all the gel. So it's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, darn it. As I've said repeatedly. Come on. Hoo, 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 hoo. Ah, oh, barely. I'll get it eventually, I swear. It takes a few times, even for me. Like, I know, I built this thing. I should have no problems doing this with the amount of times I've practiced this, but I'm still... Ugh. The, gooding around these corners actually takes a little bit of practice. Which is cool, I like that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Just in the nick of time. And, we can bring our crate back in here. And... The next step is we need to collect our crates and bring them back downstairs. So, first thing we're going to do, put a portal up there, 
And we are going to retrieve our gel crate because we do not need it anymore on the gel portal there. And then we're going to pick up this, our last crate. We're going to take all these crates and move them downstairs. But I'm going to be very careful about how I do this, considering one of those crates takes a while to get. And I tend to forget which one is which. So I would encourage you to be very, very careful on this part, just so you don't have to redo the puzzle upstairs. But anyway, now for the laser puzzle. This is a puzzle I remember solving in my fourth grade class, which involved taking um, a grid like this, and you have to solve or connect all of the points using a, I think, four different lines. I think that's the puzzle. Yeah. So I basically took that puzzle and remade it in Portal like so basically and it's solved pretty much the same way admittedly it's a little easier to figure out what's going on considering the room is bigger than the sheet of paper that gives you the optical illusion of what to do now let's see here if I can get this timed right just like that and all of the nodes are set on fire so what we can do now is quickly jump over these lasers and head back over here. Now that we have a crate. And with the big sound that turns all of the lasers off, we have our portal back up to the top. Now, this is the important part. You need to bring not one, but two cubes with you back up to the top. Because I am a jerk, as I have explained earlier, and I have discovered a way to be very, very trollish in the way I make my maps. Put one portal right, or one cube right there, and you're going to want to put another cube right here, and that turns on a little turret who's just waiting for you to get done with the puzzle so he can kill you. You jerk. Now, that solved the puzzle. 120%. I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation, and I hope you enjoy doing my map. It was a heck of a time to make. I loved it, and props goes out to my roommate for helping me get a few of the bugs sorted. So, with that, I will wish you all a good evening, a pleasant day, Feliz Navidad if it's Christmas time. I guess. Bye.